We're going to stick with the Saints as we head to question three, this time centering on skipper Jaron Geary. He's been sensational this year, playing that defensive forward role as he did with a plum on the weekend. So, Jason, put your coach's hat on. If you were rats, who would you send Geary to this weekend? Yeah, well, this is a really interesting one because there mightn't be um, at face value a standard matchup for him. And Dale might come up with one of the intercept marking targets like a Grimes or a Floston. But the problem is when you've got t uh, key talls like King and Membry and Marshall, it's too easy for Grimes and company to rotate onto those players. So if I'm coaching Jaron Geary, I send him to Basha Hooley. And there's a very, very good reason because he's the one that can actually turn Richmond's fortunes around. He's that running rebounder that uses the ball well. Hasn't quite found his best form since he returned to the hub in round 13. But he's the one that can have a genuine impact. He's got speed. He's got um, penetration with the kick. He turns defence into attack so quickly. I think while he's going average, keep him going average. Don't let him get off the chain because if he does, I think you're in trouble. Right now, they've got a few doubts, the Tigers. Let's keep them doubting. That's the basher Hooley side of the argument. Who have you gone for, Dal? I reject this question. <laughs> I reject this question. Jace, now I know you're getting a little bit old and it's becoming hard for you to hear, but I've told you this before, I'm going to say it again. Defenders defend. Geary is a forward. We saw it on the weekend. Clunks Marks had four contested. Sets up goals. He had seven score involvements and kicked two snags himself. He did everything that you want as a forward. Let him do this. And not only will he win that one-on-one -on -one matchup, but that'll go a long way for the Saints getting over the line. Who's going to win the matchup? The question should read, Sarah. Which defender from the Tigers takes full responsibility for the forward in Jaron Geary? <laughs> Do not sleep on gears. I've told you this. <laughs> Chief, you just don't listen. He's done it before. Let's go back to round five oh. this year. He did it against the Blues. Went forward, two goals. He's a forward. To suggest that gears is a caravan, it's just going to be towed around by one of these <laughs> defenders, is ludicrous. To suggest that he's a defensive forward and his main responsibility is to minimise one of these intercept defenders is just irresponsible and poor coaching if they are to go down that path, as you are suggesting. But if you had to go to one person, I'd send him to Nick Vlosten. So you reject the premise, but it's also kind of Nick Vlosten. Nick Vlosten, if I had to. But let Geary play forward. <laughs> oh, you amuse me at times, you really do. Now, two things uh, stood out for me. One from both of you. Chief, what I really liked from you was for Basha Hooley, because I think we're all thinking maybe a Nick Vlosten, but Basha, keep him down while he's not playing yep. his best. Yep. I really like that. He's already playing bad. From you, Nick, Don't what I like is going, when it's with Geary, he's not a caravan to be towed around and he's not. As we saw on the weekend, he went forward, he clunked marks and he kicked goals. So I'm really on the edge here. But we haven't had anyone reject the premise of a question Correct. so far on this show. And Correct. Nick Del Santo, this one goes to you. Thank you, Sarah. How can you get a point <laughs> for not answering the question? That's the whole For point. refusing to answer the question. The question was well wrong, uh, wrongly worded and I just corrected it and answered it appropriately. I'm in trouble. Mm. You are in trouble. We're heading to a break. Stick